Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Garrett Spencer. How everybody doing today? Today, Saturday, y'all know what it is. So, um, first person, we're gonna we're gonna get the shout outs, and then we're gonna get the, the, what I'm gonna talk about. So, first person, we're gonna give a shout out to is a uh, Retro Babe Coupon Deals. Retro Babe Coupon Deals. Check her out. You know, cool person, good channel, and good people. So, check out Retro Babe Coupon Deals. Another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Ocean J A. Ocean J A. Check her out. She's a cool, nice person, good channel, and showing the appreciation um, and treating everybody like family. So um, Ocean J A. Another per another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Dr. Josh the Real Gamer. Dr. Josh the Real Gamer. Check him out for those who hasn't. Uh, cool person, good people. Uh, has a good channel and uh, a good gamer and um. And does sometimes those live streams and videos on on gamings and uh, other stuff. So, Doctor Josh the Real Gamer. Fourth person we give a shout out to is Calvin Junior. Calvin Junior, check him out for those who hasn't. He's uh, funny. He likes to make people laugh. He's a gamer himself. He has a pretty nice game room, and um, I know he's looking to get more games. So, Calvin Junior, y'all. Another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Brian Trusty. Brian Trusty, check check him out for those who hasn't. He's a good person, has a good channel. Um, he's professional at um on his uh, channel in gaming, and um he's entertaining himself. So Brian Trusty, another person we're gonna give a shout out to is One Up Woman. One Up Woman, check her out. A uh, good person, um nice channel, a good channel, and um sometimes likes to uh, do live streams and game with her family and stuff. So One Up Woman, another person we'll give a shout out to. It's Brandon Archer. Brandon Archer, check him out. You know, cool person, uh, good people, and um, and and good people. So Brandon Archer, another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Lightsaber Samurai. Lightsaber Samurai, check him out. You know, cool person, a good channel. Um, does uh, videos on gamings and other stuff. So Lightsaber Samurai, another person we'll give a shout out to is Alpha Nerd. Alpha Nerd Entertainment. Alpha Nerd Entertainment, check him out. You know, cool person, has a good channel. He has a good, um, does review videos on games, and uh, he likes, he's also a retro gamer himself. So, um, Alpha Nerd Entertainment, y'all. Yeah. Another person we'll give a shout out to is Retro uh, Gaming Star. Retro Gaming Star, check him out for those who has him. He's a cool person. He's, um, he has a good, he's a, has a pretty good channel. He's into retro games as, as well, and, um, you know, he's good, he's good people, and he's positive, so Retro Star Gaming, y'all. Another person we'll give a shout-out to is Retro Star. Retro Star, check her out for those who hasn't. She's, she's a cool person, has a nice channel, and uh, she's uh, another retro gamer herself, so Retro Star. Another person we'll give a shout-out to is Chauncey Talon. Chauncey Talon, check him out. You know, good person, a cool person, uh, good people, uh, has a nice channel, and uh, he's in the games itself, so Chauncey Talon. Another person is Rotten Games. Rotten Games, check him out. Uh, cool person. Um, cool person. Cool person. Uh, good. Good people. And good people. And um, he's uh he he plays a uh, pretty good games himself. So um, Rotten Games. And um, another person we'll give a shout out to is Kimmy the dog. Kimmy the dog, check her out. Uh, cool person. Um, an, um, awesome game. Good gamer and um. And uh, she does review videos and stuff like that. So, uh, Kimmy the doll. Next person we give a shout out, a shout out to is TB Cutie. TB Cutie, check her out for those who hasn't. Uh, she's a nice person, has a good channel. She's uh, another cool gamer herself. So, TB Cutie. Um, another per another person we give a shout out to is J Love eighty one. J Love eighty one, check her out. Uh, awesome person, a good channel. Um, does reviews and uh, gaming streams herself, and um, she, you know she um has good uh good good games herself. So uh, J Love eighty one, and uh, another person we give a shout out to is uh Filippo. Filippo, check him out for those who has and he's good people. Um, he's another he's a good gamer, and um, he comes through to show the appreciation as well. So Filippo, and um. As far as every, far as everybody else, far, far as everybody else goes, we want to say thank you and welcome, and hope you guys uh, continue to watch the videos as I uh, post them. So uh, you guys are you guys are the greatest. I appreciate it. So so thank you, thank you again. Yeah. So yeah, um, um, 
takes care of that. So um, today's Saturday. Um, you know, got up. You know, got it in the weight. You know, got up, worked out, got it in my weight room, and went out and uh, went out and jogged after that. Went out and jogged after that. So got my workout in and everything and done. So you know, the plan is just you know probably gonna. Uh, do some chill, you know, chill a little bit today, do, aim to do a gaming if I have the time, and, you know, probably cut some grass uh, down my mom's house and probably do do ours tomorrow, that is, if it doesn't rain, so that's part of the pl that's part of the plan today, so that's what, that's part of the plan, so we just see what happens from there. Yeah, and, um, so, um, just think, think another, um, another thing I was, uh, thinking about, um, back in our back in our uh, school days and whatnot you know for all of us gamers like um you know the best part you know it's like um you know the cool the cool things i just want to get into like you know the cool things about all these uh game systems that was um that was made and whatnot you know like every single game system that was made you know it was nice of them. Also, it wasn't. Just, it wasn't just nice of them to like make them into like many to like make them into like you know many um systems. But even back then, like you know, it was nice of them to like. It was cool of them to like uh, make them um into like portable hand handheld gaming systems. Like for instance, like you know Sega Genesis. You know they they made a portable Genesis um game out of that one they made they made one out of out of uh, all the systems i was made and you know super nintendo nintendo um regular nintendo and um you know some of the other uh, some of the other systems we could uh we could uh you know think of you know you know and the cool part about that is you know that was that would have that's like a, that was like a very good backup plan to do that because you know say well say for instance well if something were to happen to your game console that you your game console that's hooked up to your tv and whatnot and um you still have the games and whatnot for them you know well like for instance sega you know like i have the nomad i haven't played the nomad and god knows how long but you know the cool thing about that is like i said it plays the actual sega genesis cartridges and um you know the you know like you could dim you could like dim the screen light in the background to like high low medium or whatnot that's pretty that's pretty cool you know the only thing about those um those um some of those um hand those uh portable uh handheld systems is like you know there's a trick to like you know there's a trick to uh like you know keeping them on like for instance like when I first got the Sega Genesis Nomad um. I looked it up on YouTube to see how exactly how that works. Now, I had bought like the um I had bought like the cord for it that you could plug into the wall. But like, you know, if you put if you like you could play it without like having to plug it in. But like, you know, if you're using like double A batteries and whatnot, you know, and you're playing a, and you're playing a game for a certain um amount of time. I could, the bad part about that is the bad part about that is um is that um it could, up, it could like eat up you know eat up the b energy of the batteries and like you know you wouldn't have have your batteries will like run out like you know kind of quick and you wouldn't have um the, you wouldn't have the right amount of energy to play you know as many games as you want now there was a certain battery that you could put in there that's actually chargeable and you can like you know there was a video where this kid or this dude had um had a chargeable battery inside of there and he left it in that like he left his uh, nomad on for like 24 out like 24 hours even while he was sleeping he woke up it was still on and running like the next day so you could leave that on for 24 hours as long as you had that chargeable battery though for that and um and um like that like that was so cool i was trying to look i was trying to look for that but i just couldn't see, i couldn't seem to find I, I couldn't seem to find that you know, and that's like, and that's the cool, that's like, that was like one of the coolest things about, about these systems, like, so like, that's like a back, that's like a backup plan, you know, like, you feel like, you know, gaming or whatnot, you know, like, say, like I said, if something happened to your games, your game console, or even back in the, back in the day when you were a kid, like, if your brother, if like your family was watching TV or whatnot, and you couldn't play, well, hey, you had your handheld um gaming system. You had your handheld gaming system. You know, you take whatever games you want, put them in. You, all you have to do, you know, just plug your uh, thing into the wall. Take whatever games you want, plug, you know, put it in, turn it on, and boom, it comes on and you're ready to play. That's the coolest thing. That's like the coolest things. 
that's the coolest things about um about you know those uh about you know game systems and whatnot. That's like the coolest things about you know you know the game systems being made and whatnot. You know, so like you know that's like a you know a backup plan. You know, and I like that. Now I don't know now I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all. You know, y'all gamers or whatnot. But you know. What I know, I probably would not have done. I probably would. I wouldn't have taken that. I would not have taken that shit to school. I would not have taken none of that stuff to school, though. Even like in preschool, elementary school, whatnot. Because like, you know, I, I I really I never really liked people like looking over my like get being nosy and people looking over my shoulder and whatnot. And um, like, do, have you guys ever had that? Had that? You know. You know, back in y'all school days, you know, you're playing a game, whatnot, and then uh, awkwardly, randomly, somebody come up and look over your shoulder, like, oh, what are you playing? And, like, it could be somebody you don't know, somebody you don't like, or, you know, or somebody who didn't want to play with you or didn't like you or whatnot, and they looking over your shoulder, like, what you doing, or what you playing, and whatnot, and they asking you, oh, could I play, whatnot, have you ever had that, you know? So that's why I wouldn't, that's why I never wouldn't have taken that to school, though, if I had those back in the day. But I didn't have no, none of those, hand, I never had none of those uh, portable, uh, I never, I didn't have a, a portable, uh, you know, Nintendo or Sega Genesis uh, handheld system back then. I didn't really know, I didn't really know anything about it. Now, I remember playing that at an old friend, at one of my old friend's house, you know, out in one of my old neighborhoods where I used to live. Now, his, it was his older brother's, though. And he had like a basket full of uh, Sega Genesis. He had a basket full of Sega Genesis games underneath his bed. I can't remember what, but I, but I know. Um, but he went. He went in the other room to get it. He gave me the. Um, he gave me the Nomad on, on and then plugged it in for me while he was playing uh, PlayStation PlayStation One on his TV. And one of the games that you know, basically the only game I was really playing was like the six pack game and and of course Sonic One. Now that was. Um, now that was a uh, good. That was a uh, a pretty good time. That was a pretty good time for me, you know. And and then I figured they wasn't using or whatnot. I even asked him if I could have it. He told me that it's a, it was uh, his older brother Jimmy's, and you know I guess Jimmy once a while would play it or whatnot. But no, nah, they wouldn't let me have it. So, but that's the cool. That that's the coolest thing that I felt. That's the coolest thing that about the gaming system, y'all. So. It just, that's just something that came to mind, but other, but I mean, and it's like now, like I said, now they have like every, every, um, you know, handheld gaming system for, the, for every system that was made that we probably didn't know about. Now it's like, of course, like I said, Genesis, NES, Super Nintendo, N64, PlayStation 1, and I think, I'm not sure about PS2 or GameCube or Xbox, but I mean, at least some of them, some of them that I know about, you know, they made, but, um, but I'm not quite sure. Just got to look it up. But anyway, y'all, that's all I really got to talk about. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and y'all know what to do. And, uh, this is your boy, Garrett Spencer. You guys take it easy. And I, and I hope to see you guys later, if not next week. Peace and I'm out. And remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.